All right, welcome back to the channel. Had a fun interaction this uh, weekend I'd like to share with y'all, illustrating the importance of conflict resolution. You're going to have issues that come up in marriage, in a relationship. Men and women are different. We think differently. And eventually, sometimes you're going to butt heads, and that just happens. What separates really awesome couples from the average couples to the to the below average couples is how they deal with conflict. Some people don't have any conflict. They avoid the conflict. Some people hit it head on. And some people just produce conflict out of nowhere. And so last couple months has been really busy for us doing a lot of things. Our, our kids are teenagers, lots of uh, activities back and forth. Hence why I'll do a lot of these videos uh, while I'm in the car, it's to and from. Well, we've had a, we weren't exactly getting along very well. Starting on Friday afternoon, she's been pretty, she's been pretty edgy and irritable and uh, just on edge and just, uh, just stressed out. I started getting more distant, started doing my own thing and uh, not exactly ignoring her, but uh, not exactly uh, making an effort to uh, make her laugh like I normally do. Well, things progressed over the weekend. There was friction, but we weren't fighting, fighting. And as a couple over time, eventually you're gonna run into really, really bad stuff. Um, you know, a death in the family, uh, loss of job, or just a lot of stress. And if you can get through those moments as a married couple, you, that's something to build on. And eventually you get to the point where an, an issue like this is doesn't even make a dent uh, in your relationship. And that's the way it is for us. And that's the, what I wanted to illustrate with this particular uh, problem and, uh, and an episode. So around came uh, Sunday morning, she actually came up to me and apologized for being stressed out and irritable. And I apologized for being distant and all is well, no problems. And started playing around a little bit, got to the, uh, to our master bathroom. And I noticed that there was a string dangling from the, the back of her yoga pants. And, uh, Hey, I'm a red blooded American male. And, uh, I noticed it and I told her you got a string dangling from your rear end, babe. So she proceeds to pull the string and I left, I let out a little bit of a, a gasp. Like, Oh my goodness. She, uh, she promptly freaks out, bends over and asks me if there are any holes. And I said, yes. And she was like, damn it. Just ruined my pants. I was like, babe, the holes aren't in your pants. <laughs> she, uh, she puts a huge smile on her face, slaps me in my ass. And we have sound, uh, sound sensors in our, uh, security system and it was armed and uh, they call them glass breaks. So a certain frequency will set them off. And she set our alarm off uh, and uh, promptly wakes up the entire household. Uh, we have outside sirens on our house as well, live in a pretty decent neighborhood. And we woke up half the neighborhood um, from, uh, from a nice little ass slap. So that's how we deal with conflict in our house. And it is an important skill to have. Can it be learned? Yes, absolutely. Stick around. That's what I'm all about with this channel. Got plenty of other episodes here and conflict resolution is huge when it comes to happily married couples and happily, uh, happy couples in general. So the reason why I want to do this episode is I wanted to show you how you deal with conflict. A lot of people will have a tendency to uh, ruminate over things, make things, uh, make a mountain out of an anthill type of situation. If you've been through some rough times as a couple, things like that's not going to make a big difference in the long run. And it ends up being just fine. You know, ever since our interaction and setting off the alarm like that, it's been 
It's been sunshine and rainbows. Okay. And I want that for you. And that's what this channel is devoted to. Uh, I want to help you all uh, have the best relationship that you possibly have uh, and find one if you're looking for one. So until next time, be better than you were yesterday and be desirable.